Hey there, I'm so excited to share my annual recap with you. And why should you care? Well, stick around because you can learn from my experience. It's not about how much money I made. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Russ and I'm here to give you tips on how to do better for food deliveries, earning more money, and increasing your ratings. If you're new, please consider subscribing and that way you'll know when I come out with new content. So why should you care? Well, let me tell you, it's not about how much I made this last year or in previous years. I really know that no one cares about that and it's a nice metric for me. But what you can care about and should is what can you learn from my experience and set yourself up for better success going into 2022? Because you will make money in 2022, but how profitable are you going to be? Let's start off with a brief recap on mileage because that's the main focus of what I want you to take away. In 2019, I drove 25,000 miles. I made $12,000 and that works out when you do the math to earning 48 cents per mile. In 2020, I drove 13,000 miles. I made $11,000 and when you divide that, that's 85 cents per mile. So you can see the lessons that I've learned the last few years are paying off. Well, guess what? In 2021, I drove 9,000 miles. I earned $11,000 and that's $1.22 per mile. So that's a huge difference. And that's important because of wear and tear. So now that we've gotten the miles out of the way, let's recap 2020. So in 2020, I did 237 rideshare rides. I did 961 food deliveries. That's $11.98 total. Rideshare was 20% of my earnings and food deliveries were 80%. As I already mentioned, I drove 13,000 miles earning $11,000 and that works out to 85 cents per mile. So let's get excited now. Last year, 2021, I did zero rides. That's right, because my car's too old. I did 893 food deliveries. I drove 9,000 miles and I earned $11,000. That works out to $1.22 per mile. So just like in the past, you can imagine that these $50 bills are $1,000 each. So I have 11 of them. And this will symbolize $11,000. So just because I earned this money, it doesn't mean that that's what I took home. So first, I had $1,800 worth of gas. So that would be two of these bills gone. And that was 16% of my income. I had $3,000 in repairs and maintenance. So you can see a trend from last year. The maintenance continues. And then that gives me a total profit of one, two, three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. So that's pretty nice for doing it part-time. My first important takeaway for how I earned money this last year is that my availability changed so I wasn't able to work as much, but I drove 4,000 less miles and I did 300 less deliveries than in 2020. My second lesson learned is that wear and tear on your car really adds up. This year, I earned $1.22 per mile, which is great. So I'm gonna keep looking for ways of reducing mileage while increasing what I make because the more, you, more I drive on my car, then the odds are high that it's gonna keep breaking. There's times, you know, I don't really wanna do in-store shopping. There's times that I don't wanna do food deliveries from restaurants. Generally, restaurants are gonna have you drive more miles and then the in-store shopping is gonna be less miles because most of your time is spent in the store shopping. So that's something to consider. And just like I've mentioned before, you know, that's called exercise. Walking around the store shopping, that's good for you. Whereas wear, on, wear and tear on your car is not good for your car. Your car doesn't need more exercise. My third lesson, you know, despite what I keep saying every year, oh yeah, the car should be great now. I think the trend's gonna continue. It's gonna keep breaking. And so I'm gonna plan that I'm gonna spend another $3,000 on the car. At some point, enough's gonna be enough and I'll have to either get rid of it 
or just keep fixing it. So for now, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because at least I am making money using my car. And with all these examples, I did exclude taxes. I am not a tax professional. I'm not a financial advisor. You shouldn't list to anything that I have to say. <laughs> Do your own research. But everybody's tax situation is different, so those are excluded from this topic today. So what did you think of my brief recap of 2021? What lessons are you going to take forward going into 2022 to increase your profitability? I hope that I've really hit it home with the importance of wear and tear on your car. You know, I'm not afraid of using my car to make money, but if you look at comparative rideshare years ago and doing the food deliveries um, from trying to work a little bit smarter every year, I have managed to reduce the miles on my car. So please consider the same thing for you. I know our markets are different, but the concepts are going to be the same. All right. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and I wish you all the best here in 2022. I wish uh, the best of health for you and safety. All right, take care. Bye.